Are you ready to talk to one of the most phenomenal entrepreneurs in the game? Today, we are going to be talking to John Lee Dumas of the podcast, Entrepreneur on Fire. This man has helped change my career and taken my podcast, which I didn't even have a year ago, to the absolute next level. John Lee Dumas is going to be sitting down and talking with me, sharing all of his secrets, all of his tips, and all of his tricks to make sure that you can start making money without using a lot of your time. Let's go. Noel. If she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, no, you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big step. She can fix that. Let's fix that. Okay, welcome, welcome, John. I am just so happy to have you. So excited. I, like I said, I'm gonna share something that I have never shared before on my show, on this podcast, and just let people know how awesome you are and how your mentorship and your coaching and someone I know you've never, until this day, we've never actually met. Obviously, we're still on computer. We still have never met. But I bought your course. I saw you speaking at an event. It was my mentor's event. I had already purchased her mentorship. And then I saw this powerful speaker. He was awesome. He was energetic. And I loved everything about him. And I bought his course. I literally was one of the first people to run to the back and buy your course because you did this freebie. And we'll talk about that because you're amazing and you're a great marketer. And we're going to share some of your secrets there because it was amazing. But more than anything, it was life changing. So first of all, I just want Wanted to share that to you face to face, let you know how much I appreciate everything you do. I know sometimes you don't get to meet the people that buy your course, but this is one of them. And so thank you so much. Well, listen, I remember that event very fondly and, you know, it was a great energy in the room and you were obviously a part of that. So first and foremost, thank you for taking action. I mean, you know, you can do the best course in the world and say the best words in the world and then the people in the audience they still have to take action in order for it to mean something. So you've done that. You're having fantastic success in your own, over 200,000 you know, YouTube subscribers. I mean, you're rocking and rolling, girl. So I am here. I, I support you. I'm excited for you. And I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. That really does mean a lot. It really does. So let's get to it because this is no fluff. So this is, of course, how I became a millionaire working less. That is really one of the things that where your course came into me. And I know this is going to sound ironic because I did definitely did some work. Let's talk about this because I think your course cleared up so much for me. How have people been lied to by so-called experts? I think this is a big one. So listen, experts want you to think that the path to success is tricky, that it's hidden, that it's scary, that it's overly complicated. And guess what? The path to success is hard work. I have never interviewed somebody, and I've interviewed over 3,000 successful entrepreneurs to date. I've never interviewed anybody who achieves success without meaningful hard work. So it is hard work. And anybody watching this show, of course, is ready for hard work. You don't consume content like this unless you're ready to put in the work. But you've been lied to because it's not tricky. It's not hidden. It's not secret. It is a common path that Noel's followed, that I followed, that countless people before and after me can and will follow to achieve their version of uncommon success. Noel's version of uncommon success, it's different than mine. Right. Mine is different than hers. Right. Everybody watching here today, yes. your version of uncommon success is your version to get to financial freedom and fulfillment. That is so possible. And it means so many different things to so many people. Noel, somebody making $87,000 a year yeah. from their lakeside cabin in Montana doing something they love every single day, that is uncommon success. That is it a is. thing of beauty. That is financial freedom and fulfillment for them. And they know it and they have it. And that's what I'm passionate about. That's the message that I'm here to share. You know, that's why I wrote this book that I know we're going to be talking a little bit more about, yeah, but yeah. that is available for everybody. So the lying stops today. Yeah. Yes. So let, let's, let me let me get a little vulnerable and, and, and dig into that, because like I said, I did buy your course. Um, I did hear you speak on the stage. You were presented because this is the irony of it. You were presented as an a, a expert in podcasting. And there, like you said, we have to unlearn some of this, because in order for me to get any of the success that you had experienced, I had to put in some work and there had to be some inspired action taking place. But you really did have kind of a blueprint. So 
Let's talk about that, like learning and modeling success. Learning and, mo- and, and just modeling success. We are all standing upon the shoulders of giants. I've learned from those who have come before me. Those who have come after me have learned from me and are now teaching other people. And a great right. example is this right here. Like some of the things you've learned through my courses, through my mentoring, through my marketing, yeah. you're able to apply in your business. And by the way, there are things that I see from people like you and other people, you know, who have done other amazing things that I'm learning every single day and applying. That's one thing that all great and long-term successful entrepreneurs do. We're always learning. We're always modeling from each other, whether it's up the ladder, down the ladder, at the same spot on the ladder. We're always learning. We're always modeling. I've now interviewed, like I mentioned, 3,000 successful entrepreneurs. I've learned from every single one of those. I've now been running a multi-million dollar net profit a year business for nine years in a row. I've learned from, by the way, some of my successes I've made over the years and I've amplified those. I've learned from my failures over the years and mistakes and flops that I've had. And I've applied those learnings to not make those same mistakes again. And for me, it's this whole culmination right now of I am where I am now because of everything I've learned in the past, everything I've applied in the past, and my continued willingness and desire to keep learning moving forward. And I'm a big believer in trying not to become a person of just success, but being a person of value. That's an Albert Einstein quote that so resonates with me. And that's why I'm here today. I'm trying to become a person of value. I'm trying to share value, Noel, with you, with your viewers, with people that come into contact with this content. That's my focus. That's my goal. Yes. John, oh my gosh, so many nuggets. Like I said, now you guys can see why I was drawn to him and why I knew this was someone that could teach me something. You know what I mean? And you are so humble yet so successful. And I I think that's something I hope everyone is getting from you because that is truly what I think a millionaire entrepreneur looks like. I think we see so much Instagram and, you know, all of this flashiness that we really don't necessarily realize that it really is a person that is smart and simple in many cases, not necessarily flashy and everything else. I'm a big believer in the quote, be humble, be happy. It's something that my parents and my uncle actually specifically while I was growing up, he said it over and over again, so much so that I started equating happiness to being humble. And the reality is, I mean, man, when you interview 2,000 people in 2000, (laughs) which I did for five and a half years with Entrepreneurs on Fire. The show is amazing. My first question on that episode was, what is your biggest failure? Tell me about the time you flopped in your face. And when you hear these people that were all at the top come crashing down thousands and thousands of times, I had them tell thousands of those stories. And when you hear those stories over and over again, I know that there's nothing I can do in this world that would insulate me from a potential crashing down. So knowing that I could, you know, either A, lose it all or B, stumble or B, fall, you know, it may not happen, but it might happen. But you just are aware that life has things in store for you. You have no idea. You can be, you know, on the best path in the world and all of a sudden something happens that's outside of your control or inside of your control and poof, it's all gone like that. So even though I've achieved massive levels of success over the past nine years, I'm just fully aware that, hey, I could wake up tomorrow and who knows, it could all be gone. Like people have woken up through no fault of their own and all of a sudden there are trillion dollar bills being printed in Zimbabwe and now all the money they made means nothing. And it's that has happened in this world. And so you just need to remain humble, remain, you know, a person of learning so that if and when something happens down the road, you're like, you know what, I may have lost everything but I haven't lost my skill set, my knowledge. They can't ever take that away from me. So that's the attitude that I always love to have. Whoa, being a person of value, that is so important. Let's talk about how you can be a person of value, creating value for others, and then how the money will come, because this is such an important lesson that John Lee Dumas points out. John points out that he became a person of value. He really wanted to bring value, and the truth of the matter is he does. Every single day, he is bringing value, and that is truly why his podcast is successful and why his business is successful and why he sells millions of books. He is very successful because he brings value. Prior to me ever purchasing his course, when I heard him speaking on the stage, he had already taught me so much. 
he brought value. He told me things about podcasts that I didn't know. He told me about how I could get it done. He told me about how to get guests. He gave so much value before I ever ran to the back and bought his course. So it's so important to think about this. How can you bring massive value? How can you over deliver for people? How can you bring so much value with your offer, with your product, with your service that they cannot tell you no? Bring so much value that you are undeniable. That's what I did, that's what John taught me, and that's what you should be doing too in your business. Let's get back to it. I met you three, four years ago at Elisa Sasevich event. She's another one. She doesn't um, mentor anymore. And I was so lucky to be one of the last people that she mentored. I swear on everything, it changed my life. I swear on everything, you changed my life. And it was more so with the awareness that you existed, okay? That you were a person that actually existed. You were a real person. You were successful. So let's talk about that. What do people really want to achieve in their lifetime? Because I think this is the question that I needed answering. What do people really, really, if they were honest, want to achieve in their lifetime? I mean, listen, when you ask that question to people, they're going to give you a myriad of answers. And none of those answers are wrong because they really believe that. And in a lot of cases, it's really true. But when you keep unpacking and diving down into what they're saying to you, they're really saying one thing. They desire freedom. They freedom. want freedom. Say it again. Louder. Come on. Freedom. freedom. What they want, they <laughs> that want, is what they want it. That's what they, they want. want freedom. That's what we want. You know what they want? They want what their definition of. of freedom is. Correct. And my definition of freedom, by the way, is to be able to live on this beautiful island down in the Caribbean, you know, loving life in my home doing what I want to do, you know, sharing the content that I want to share, waking up every single morning, seeing that my calendar has nothing on it except for what I want to have on right. it. I'm making my own decisions. I've achieved financial freedom, lifestyle freedom, location freedom. That's my definition of freedom. And, and some people, by the way, have that exact same desire or very close to it. And some people have a completely different definition of freedom, but that's what they want. They want their definition of freedom. So my strong, strong call to action to everybody is to sit down and to say, what does my definition of freedom look like? When I can live my life exactly on my own terms, what does that look like? Mm. And then you strive for that. Because there's so many people that wake up one day and they're like, I've been working so hard and I've, I've, I've constructed this life for myself yeah. and it's so confining. It's, it feels so wrong. It feels so inauthentic to me. Yep. That's the opposite of freedom. They right. feel trapped. You know, yeah. you hear the golden handcuffs. And I have so many friends right now who are experiencing the golden handcuffs. And it's just sad to see because they're going to wake up and they're going to be like, I had this one life to live. Yep. And yep. I, I was just climbing the wrong ladder or I was just chasing the wrong things. Right. I never achieved the one major thing that I know now looking back, I wanted in life. Yeah. And that's freedom. And yeah. that's exactly why I wanted to unlock it for everybody in an incredibly affordable way, which of course is a book, right. The Common Path to Uncommon Success. And that's exactly what it is. It's, an un, it's a common path that we can all take, all of us, to uncommon success on a 17-step roadmap, a revolutionary 17-step roadmap to financial freedom and fulfillment. Yes. Okay, so let's, let's get right into that because... That is that that is the answer. We already know, like I said, that was the thing you taught me. Okay. And I knew that you, you already said it. So I'm gonna quickly recap. It's not just money. We know that that's not freedom. Money is not freedom. You know, I was in a gilded cage, okay? It was beautiful cage with nice stuff, nice cars, nice house, no time whatsoever. So it wasn't money, and it surely wasn't just time. It was what I thought freedom was, which was time plus money. And you have some ways to talk about how people can create their definition of freedom. So let's get right into that because that is amazing. Let's talk about that. Please talk to me about your 17 step roadmap. I need to hear about this. They need to hear this. So listen, I've mentioned it a couple of times, but I really want this point to come across. Like I didn't just sit down and come up with this myself. In 2012, I launched the first and only daily podcast interviewing entrepreneurs, True entrepreneurs story. on fire. I've interviewed Lisa Sasevich and some of the other top luminaries, your Tony Robbins, Gary Vaynerchuk's, Tim Ferriss's, Barbara Corcoran's, you name them, 
I've probably interviewed them if they, you know, have achieved massive levels of success because that's who I was looking for to share their stories, their lessons, their knowledge with my audience, Fire Nation, with anybody that wanted to tune into this podcast. And I built the podcast to a massive level. It's over 100 million listens, as you and I are talking right now, over 1.4 million listens every single month. It's a show that I pour all of my heart and my soul into, and I learn. I yeah. learned from every one of those 3,000 plus guests. Yeah. Not to mention, as I've said, I've learned from my own path, which has been up and down and down and up. And I've learned the lessons. And it's allowed me to say, you know what? These 3,000 people, including myself, like we've all done the same things. We all have different paths and we've all had different experiences. But when it comes down to the core fundamentals, We've all done the same things. In fact, we've all followed the same roadmap. It is a 17-step roadmap chronologically, step one to step 17, step by step by step. And so I sat down and I spent all of 2020 creating this chronological 17-step roadmap. I went all in. I, um, my publishers, HarperCollins, they're amazing. I have personal endorsements from Seth Godin, Gary Vaynerchuk, Ooh. Neil Patel, Erica Mandy, Dory Clark, fantastic female and male entrepreneurs who are just crushing it at their game. And I'm super proud of what this book has become. And it's ready. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. I'm ready. I'm I'm excited, especially when you said Seth Golden. I met him. So he talks about tribes. Great. Every one he named, you should be reading their book first and foremost. You True. should read not only their book, but of course, John Lee Dumas's book. So let's talk about the book because, OK, you're telling us this. I want to know how do we get it? Because here's the thing. Like I said, this is nothing for sale here, really. This is truly and I, I tell my audience 100 percent. I paid for mentorship, I paid for coaching, I invested in myself, and I wanna show you who taught me. So you could see this is no fluff, this is really real. You could see a year ago I wasn't on YouTube, now 200,000 subscribers, all of these accolades because of people like this and taking their opinions, their guidance, their, you know, even like you said, even if it's just their opinion, they don't have to be an expert, but they have great knowledge. Whoa, did you hear that part about flops and failures? So one of the things that John Lee Dumas and Noel Randall knows all about is falling down. So one of the things that I have not told you during this interview that I'm gonna tell you right now separately is that I did not just jump out the gate and do John's course. Like I said, I bought his course nearly four years ago, but I never launched my podcast until one year ago. So basically I had his course, did it, had all that information for three years and I never implemented any of it until three years later. And now a year later, I'm very successful in it. Let me talk to you about the failure and what happened because there was a failure, I did fall down. I realized after I got into the mentorship with my coach and I had got into the mentorship or the coaching with John Lee Dumas, it was just way too much. I really just could not commit to both. I had to make a decision. What I was trying to do was going to require all of my focus, all of my energy and all of my time. So instead of building a podcast, I decided to finish building my business, my coaching, and then do YouTube. Then I would add in the podcast because like I said, I was getting overwhelmed and none of it was working for me. My coaching wasn't making money, my YouTube wasn't making money, and my podcast surely wasn't going to make money. I needed to make a decision and pick something. Don't let failure stop you. Don't let falling down stop you. Don't let timing be a big thing for you. As a millionaire entrepreneur, I now know that things come into play that you had no idea. You may get thrown curveballs. Things may not always work out the way that you want them to but that's completely okay. Just stop, take a second and think about what it is you're doing. Don't let the roadblock stop you, find a different route. You may have to take a detour like Noelle did and do the YouTube first and then do her podcast, but either way you will succeed and get to your goal if you stay focused and you don't let failure stop you. The book, 
I need to know because I, I want to pre-order it. I do. I want to pre-order it. <laughs> well, Noel, that means a lot. Because I still have your Freedom Journal. I should bring that up. That, that's what I ran to the back to get. Fun story. I ran to the back to get your Freedom Journal. So I'm already your fan. So whatever. Let's go. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was buried in some storage unit. She had to go and get it. It was a cool story. Just kidding. But no, no I, I mean, have five the, of them. The book, the book is available. It's The Common Path to Uncommon Success. Um, we are going all in on pre-orders. Because when I say the book's available, it actually goes live on March 23rd. But we are just saying, if this is something you think you need in your life, don't wait. Time time to take action. Time to it's take action. now. It is literally now. And I love that you actually brought up my Freedom Journal because we are doing something insane, Noel. Okay. We are doing something certifiably insane. Um, and, and, and you'll know what it is. Oh, I know I you're certifiably insane. I told you I ran to the back. So let, 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 <laughs> let me put my, where's my purse? <laughs> this is the journal that Noelle is talking about. The True Freedom story. Journal. It is my best-selling journal on how to accomplish your number one goal in 100 days. In 100 days. This, by the way, is my mastery journal. This is until, the, until my book, by the way, this is my best work ever. This is how to... Um, master productivity, discipline, and focus in 100 days. And here's another thing that Noel owns of mine. It's called the Podcast Journal, which is how to create and launch your podcast in 100 days. All of these, by the way, have sold over a million dollars worth of product over the years. I am giving all of them to you for free. Every single person, Noel. Are you sure about this? We get over 2 million views a month on our channel. Just one YouTube channel, over 2 million. So be ready. Try and break me. <laughs> Try and break ooh, me. Because Noel, ooh, listen, the challenge. listen, it's a challenge. The it's a challenge. challenge because the challenge. This is, this is not, this ooh. is not a financial, this book is not a financial play for me. I'm losing okay. money. Right. On of course, course, we always do. They'll, they'll and tell them and that I later. could care less because I've made it financially. I have eight figures of net worth. I have crushed it. I'm making millions of dollars a year. I'm not saying this to brag. I'm just saying I'm I'm still here. I'm still like in my office when I could be out by the pool or down by the beach. And, and the, I live in Puerto Rico. I'm on the Caribbean. Like I'm still doing this because this is my passion. Like not sitting on the beach, sipping a Mai Tai. That's boring. Here, talking with you, who's an amazing woman to your amazing audience. This is my passion. This book is my passion, getting people their version of uncommon success in their hands. This is my flipping passion. So I am losing money on every single pre-order. Fine, I could care less because I'm shipping every single person who pre-orders this book that lives in the United States of America, all three of these journals. This is if, awesome. you're, if you live outside the US, which I know you have an international audience, I do. we're immediately emailing you the entire digital pack of all three, which by the way, sell for the same price. So you're still getting amazing value. Also, we have four other insane bonuses. That's just one of five bonuses. <laughs> all, all you need to do is visit Uncommon Success book.com. You go to uncommonsuccessbook.com. You'll see all five bonuses that are available for you there. You'll see um, a video of the of the book with the endorsements and some more details about it. And just pre-order. Just pre-order the book. It's that simple. If you're in the US, I'm shipping all three of these journals to your door. If you're outside, you get the digital versions. And there's four other insane bonuses. And um, listen, I may be calling up Noel in a week or two and saying, hey, cut this part out of yes. the video. Right. I that and happens. You are right. That Your happened. audience is that, that crazy. That happened, John. That happened. I believe it. It's called, <laughs> listen, it's called, the, hug, it's called the, the hug of death. And, and I've seen it before, for sure. So you may give this no, to me. No, you're going to love it. This is so much value. I'm so happy for anyone the that gets The only reason books. I'm going to have to call you to, to take this part out is if we just run out of inventory. I have over 40,000 of my journals in stock. Like I, I went massive on my stocking. So like try and break that. Like Ooh. I dare you. Uh, but listen- you're getting $150 worth of journals. Yeah. Plus four other bonuses for a $17 pre order of the best book you'll ever read to get you to uncommon success. Uncommon. Period. Uncommon. Oh, I love it. I love it. You know what was so funny? Because I never heard the term really uncommon success until very recently. And it wasn't you that said it. They said that they felt like I was an uncommon success because I worked in corporate for so long that usually someone with my mind, you know, whatever, we get really stuck in being that. So thank you so much for all of that. I, I'm just, this is incredible. I, 
the journals, I, I have the journals. I've actually purchased four or five of them, and, or actually for myself, and then I've purchased so many for my students. So I'll probably do a bonus as well because I just want as many people to have this as possible. John I Lee Dumas, it. you are awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. Have a wonderful day, and I cannot wait to see all of your success. Your continued success. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, there you have it. John Lee Dumas, ladies and gentlemen of the E on Fire podcast. Noelle Randall literally bought this man's course about four years ago. And today I have a very successful podcast because of it. John has provided me with some awesome information that I have taken and I implemented and used in my business. And that is why I was successful. I want to make sure that you guys are doing the same thing with this information. I want to make sure that you get the free training, that you get those books, maybe even check out John's book with all of those free bonuses that they offered. Or check out your own books. Start reading, start listening to more podcasts, start getting and doing what it is that you want to do. There is so much opportunity out there for us and you do not have to feel like you cannot achieve your goal. You want freedom, you can have freedom. You truly can have all the time and the money that you want to live the life that you dream of. I introduce you to John because I want to make sure that you meet these other successful people like Noel and you see my real story. I want to make sure that you have all of the resources, all of the tools, and all of the knowledge that you need to be successful. This is Noelle. To your success.